All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. So as you guys can see, we're doing something different. We're not doing any cinematics. We just have the food in front of me and we're doing a question and answer, a Q&A. I haven't done a QA and a in, honestly, I think it's been like two years. So I figured it's about time to do a question and answer. Now I did this one exclusively on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, my username is Nate Figs. It's always in the description. So maybe if I do something like this in the future, um, you guys will be included if you guys are following me. I did ask you guys to give me questions in my stories. So hopefully you guys came up with some good ones. So with that said, the food, I have a Panda Express. There was a few items from Panda Express I really wanted. These are the items right here. These are brand new Szechuan chicken. I am so sorry if I said that incorrectly, but Szechuan chicken. So we have the spicy one and we have the hot one. So I don't know which is which, Obviously, we're gonna find out as I eat this. Also, we have honey walnut shrimp, which is one of my favorites from Panda Express. We have orange chicken, which is a must cop from Panda Express every time I go. I have Beijing beef, kun pao chicken, chow mein, white rice, and I have a bunch of sides right here. Egg roll, two spring rolls, crab ragoon, and pot stickers. So let's go ahead and start this video. Before we start answering questions, I'm gonna go ahead and have uh, some of these things, crab ragoon, spring roll, hot sticker, and we'll go ahead and have the egg roll. All right, we got some sauce right here. What the heck is plum sauce? Hey, you know, I was thinking about making this a mukbang, a mukbang, a mukbang, but I just can't handle editing the video without editing the video, if you understand what I mean. Hmm. Okay. Oh, mm, pot stickers are so... Mm. Oh, I love pot stickers. I feel like there's so much boring time in between mukbangs. Really quickly, I would just like to clarify what I just said by boring. What I mean is mukbangs are usually unedited and I feel it's just boring in between talking segments. So when I'm chewing, I just I just can't get behind just watching me chew without speaking. So that's what I mean by boring. And this is just my personal opinion. Okay, back to the video. I actually started binging a bunch of mukbangs recently. Some of them are interesting. Okay, crab ragoons are fire. I should get those more often. It's cream cheese in them. Hmm. And we're gonna have two last items before we actually start the Q&A. The items that I originally wanted from Pan Express, this one looks like the super hot one. Nope, this one looks like the super hot one. There's like oil on it. It looks like some scary oil. Uh, let's see how hot this one is. This one's definitely not hot, but I like the flavor. The flavor is very good. Number two, this has to be the hot one because that had no spice whatsoever to it. Well, I'm confused because none of those were spicy whatsoever. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some stuff on my plate. All right, so here we go. And the first question is from Jake Turner. Any plans for new merch? I haven't came out with any merch in a very long time. I think it's been since December. I definitely need new designs, like new, new designs. Something that I'm just like, when I see it, I'm like, yes, I love it, let's do it. But yeah, sometime in the future. All right, let me get a few bites of this. Beijing beef is so far. Next question is from Addison Barger. Do you ever binge eat? I would say that I don't binge eat. Ever since I really started doing food challenges and cheat days and just food related videos, I don't really have much of an appetite on other days. I pretty I eat pretty controlled. Usually I'll eat in a caloric deficit. I, I wouldn't say I binge. Even on my cheat days, I don't call that binging. I'm eating pretty controlled, as crazy as that sounds. Hope that answered the question. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this one real quick. Oh, I just swallowed the food, no chewing. But that was pretty tasty. So what I'll do now is, I just, mm, this is like, this is pretty chaotic for me. Put this, and just get that out of the way because it's only three shrimp. We're gonna put the orange chicken. Oh, I just love orange chicken. Let me just, let me, you know, let me just. Mm. I wish I was a creator of the orange chicken. Bringing happiness to everybody through orange chicken. What a legend. The Beijing beef. Kung Pao chicken. Ooh, that Kung Pao chicken is hot. Way hotter than that Sichuan chicken. All right, let's get like a bite and then uh, we'll answer another question.
Next question is from Bio Majavana. I know I am just butchering your name. Where do your parents live and do you see them often? Um, parents live in Utah, St. George. Well, not technically, they don't live in St. George. They live like an hour away from St. George, but they live in Utah in Mormon country. I'm sorry if I'm not trying to offend anybody, but where they live is Mormon country. And my dad is a Spanish pastor there. And as far as me visiting them, uh, the last time I visited them was when my grandma was staying there, which was in February, I think. Um, I went there to visit my grandmother because that's who who was taking care of her at the time. However, I do plan to visit my parents pretty soon. And uh, let me take out some of this stuff right here. We're gonna go ahead and just munch on this beautiful succulent honey walnut shrimp. Oh. Mm. oh. Here is something interesting I found out. Not that I care, I don't care whatsoever, but a lot of the people that do mukbangs don't finish their food. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I see the thumbnail, I click the thumbnail, it's like a massive amount of food all over the table, but they eat like maybe a few bites of it, and then it's just story time. Now, I, I don't, I'm not a mukbang expert, that's just what I observed. Maybe because I do like food challenges and cheat days and all that stuff when I eat all of it or I attempt to eat all of it. I feel like I have to eat everything, but not everybody doesn't finish it. A lot of people do finish their mukbangs. I just, I was just giving my food for thought. Did I restart my camera real quick? I set the alarm for 30 minutes, which I need to do it again, or 25 minutes. Set alarm for 25 minutes. I've set an alarm. Thank you. 25 minutes went by that quickly. Let's move on to the next question. Mapo Fem ask, will Olivia eventually move to the US or you eventually move to Germany? Good question because I don't think I've ever answered that question. At least I don't think so. Olivia will be moving to here. She will be here for good. Well, fingers crossed. She'll be here for good in September. Double fingers crossed. Reese's, cross your fingers. I don't have fingers, I have paws. Paws are crossed right now. To answer your question, uh, she will be moving here. All right, uh, what are we gonna do next? Put this rice right here. You know what I'll say about this rice is the white rice isn't that good today. You know, I know it's white rice and white rice is pretty plain, but for white rice, it's not that good. It's not that good. It's not. I'm gonna dump this. Mmm, yeah. Sexy. We'll go ahead and dump this. Ooh. This bad girl right here, this pepper is very, very dangerous. I've eaten this pepper on accident. I didn't know you were not supposed to eat this. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to eat it. My mouth was on fire. So I will not be eating this. Boom. We're gonna go ahead and put this chicken, the Sichuan chicken, right here. We have a question from my buddy and fellow competitive eater, Wayne Wonder, Wayne Aljahino. Uh, and his question is, why you don't talk in the group chat anymore? Look, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't love you and love you guys. I love all you guys equally. Well, I'd love you more. It's a competitive eating chat room, by the way, you guys. I don't really get on Facebook much anymore. I only go on Facebook just to post my videos. I don't know, I just don't wanna be consumed by so much social media. I'm already consumed by Instagram. I'm consumed by YouTube. I feel like I don't need to be consumed by Facebook too. I do pop in every once in a while and say hi. <sighs> Let's do one more question. Next question from Bro Nagmukt. Will you ever come to Northern Ireland? We have the best burrito place ever. Boojum! Most definitely we will be there. I don't know when, but I do plan to travel the entire world soon. All right, let me just go ahead and uh, get a few bites really quick like. Next question is from Kenny. How do you get so good at editing? Huge fan, by the way. Well, I appreciate the support, Kenny. Um, it truly does mean the world. So as far as editing, my editing is self-taught. It's just hours and hours and hours of watching YouTube videos, researching on the internet, hours of practicing edits, learning software as much as I possibly could. I used to seek out learning one new thing every single day, and if I couldn't do it every single day, I would at least try to learn something every one to two days. Even if it's just some little tiny thing, shortcut, effects, building transitions, things like that. Pretty much long story short, practice, practice, practice. And while practicing, enjoy it. Enjoying editing, in my opinion, is the biggest part of it. All right, next question is from Arthur Thomas. What's the most difficult food challenge you've done yet? The most difficult challenge was a three to four years ago at a restaurant called Cheeseburgers and More. Initially, when I went into that challenge, 
I thought it was going to, look, I called them. It was, it was promoted as a six pound challenge. I'm like, okay, so we're ordering a six pound burger. They asked me how many toppings I wanted on it. I said, just go ahead and throw everything you have on it because I'm like six pounds, maybe it'll equate to like eight pounds or something. When they brought out the burger, I didn't know it came with fries either. So I was very unaware of that. But when they brought out the burger, the burger had so much stuff on it. I wanna say it was around 11 pounds altogether. The reason why that was very hard is because I was not as prepared as I thought I was. I was going in there thinking it was gonna be a six pound challenge altogether. So since I wasn't prepared for that, um, it hurt very, very bad that night. I could not sleep one bit. I rolled in bed all night, I was sweating. The worst feeling ever. Even though I've done bigger challenges than that, it was the most difficult because of how unprepared I was. All right, so let's go ahead and destroy this one real quick. All right, we are almost done with this. This Panda Express has been so enjoyable. Question from Juanita Cortazar. Are you going to propose to Livia? Hmm, yes. Uh, one, one of these days I will. I have some things brewing in my brain. Livia is the perfect specimen. I really lucked out with her, to be honest. Super lucked out with her. She's been... She's like uncomparable to my ex-girlfriends, obviously. But as far as like our relationship together, communication, all of that, I felt like in these past, like especially this past year, we've really grown as a relationship. Like when we get in arguments, just like all relationships do, like it's bound to happen. Uh, we've learned to communicate with each other. We get over it very quickly. It doesn't last longer than, it doesn't really last long at all. So I really lucked out with Livia. She is my future. Oh, Reese's wants to come make an appearance. Oh, Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh my god, what the f you were so goddamn cute. Make my heart melt. Uh next question from Hey Sucks. When are you releasing the tape pinworm? So I a lot of you guys are probably wondering what people mean by releasing the tape. Um, you guys are gonna have to use your imagination with that one. And this question is from Joseph Isip. Uh, what's your favorite pair of sneakers? A favorite pair of sneaker that I own, the Nike Off-White Jordan 1s. They're still dead stock. I just haven't worn them. I just, cause they're all white and they're just, they're such a, it's such a beautiful shoe. Um, but it's, I would say it's my favorite pair in my whole collection. And as far as my, like favorite shoe, like my favorite shoe would have to be just the Jordan 1 altogether. Like, any color, I just love the Jordan 1 silhouette. It's an easy shoe to wear. You can pretty much wear it with shorts, pants, pajamas. You can wear it for any occasion. But one of these days, I will do a sneaker collection video. I promise I will. Let me go ahead and eat a few of these. had to restart the camera once again. They had to have given me the same chicken in both containers because there's no way that one of these is spicier than the other. They can't trick me into thinking that one of these were hotter than the other. They taste exactly the same. There's no spice whatsoever. The next question is from Melina. Which smell do you love the most? Fresh food after fasting for a very long time or new sneakers when you just received them? Oh, that is a good question. That is a very tough question. I love food to death and I love sneakers to death, but there is nothing like opening a fresh pair of sneakers and you open that box and you just stick that sneaker to your nose and you're like I love that smell, it's the first thing I do. Every time I open a new pair of sneakers, I just smell the shoe. But if you're a sneakerhead, you probably understand. I just, I love that. But I do love food too. Oh, that's a tough one. Can I just say, mm, can I just say I love them both? Heads, food, tails, sneaker. Siri, flip a coin. Tails. Yo, if this would have been like a mukbang, right? Where I didn't fast forward anything. Yo, this would have been like an hour and a half because I've been taking my time. We are going to eat this egg roll. Mm. Before we get into the pot stickers, let's go ahead and answer another question. Uh, this question is from Beauty and Fitness. How long have you and Livia been together? Almost three years. It's two years and 10 months. 
months. Time flies by so quickly. It's been two years since I've been with Livia. That's crazy to think about. What the heck? Time flies. Oh my goodness. Sometimes like in life, take your time in life. You know, if you're doing certain things, don't rush it. If you're in school, don't rush it. Enjoy the time that you have here now because before you know it, you're going to be 30, you're going to be 40, you're going to be 50, you're going to be 60, you're going to be 70, 80, 90, and then eventually you're going to pass away. So in life, just enjoy the time you have, you know, even though sometimes you go through rough patches, just try to think of all the positive things in your life. If you have your health, if you have a roof on your head, if you if you have food in your stomach, um, that's something to be thankful for. Motivation, Nate. Hey, taste Dell already. Next question is from Constantino. How old am I? I am a thirty. One and I'll be 32 in 10 days, August 1st. Whoa, where did 31 go? Where did 30 go? Where did 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21? Enjoy the time you have here on earth. Try to make the best you can out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these. Mm. These ragoons are such a treat. This question is from Tori. What did you do before YouTube? Well, so there's a few different things that I did here. One, um, I used to drive building material around to local businesses and I would just pretty much drop off the inventory. That was one of my jobs. Another job that I had that I, this is the first time I've ever said it on this channel is, and the reason why I, I never said it on the channel is because I, I don't know why, but I was embarrassed for some stupid reason. I don't know why, but I cared what people think about. I don't care what people think about me anymore um, but I did at one point and I'm sure most people um, do for the most part uh, but I used to uh, be a delivery driver for a Chinese restaurant right down the road from here some days I would make just $20 on good like really good days maybe like $80 a day but that was very rare anyways I don't know why I would be it's so stupid like why would I be embarrassed for some shit like that that's not the way to live life So where do you work for a living and did you go to college? I went to two colleges. I went to college in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada when I uh, lived there. When I transferred out here to Florida, uh, none of my credits transferred. So I had to start all over when I started college here. Um, I went to Broward County, which is the, the community college right down the street from here, really close. And I did graduate there. I got an associate's degree. And the plan was to continue and get my bachelor's in exercise science, but YouTube came and I had a different passion than just fitness stuff. Now, fitness is always gonna be a passion for me. I know people think that I don't lift anymore, which is so far from the truth. I do lift. I just don't lift with the same purpose I used to. I used to lift with the purpose of being the biggest person in the gym. I used to want to be huge and jacked and I would. I was using steroids at that time. Um, I still have some muscle. I just have natural muscle now. I'm, I'm not on steroids. I haven't been on steroids for years now. And a lot of people like to compare me then to now and think that I don't even lift when lifting is a huge part of my life. I just went far into a different way. We're talking about college. Pretty much I changed passions. I did graduate college here. I decided to not go to Florida Atlantic University, which is the um, university closest to me and decided to try this YouTube thing and learn this filming stuff. So I went to a different direction, videography, um, editing, things like that. And what I do for a living. So right now at this moment, I am a freelance videographer. I am a one man team. So I um, do the shooting and I do the editing and also I do YouTube. I think that answers the question. Wow, that was a long answer, wasn't it? I'm sorry about that. So sorry about that. Last question and then we're gonna wrap it up because I am all out of food and this video has been way entirely too long. And the question is, is YouTube your only source of income? Which I just answered that question for you. Um, and can you become rich with it? So becoming rich with it, I wanted to answer and that'll be my very last question. Again, before I answer it, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please do. I'm almost at that 40,000 follower mark. I know it doesn't matter how many followers I have, but I think it would be cool if I just hit that 40,000 follower mark. Either way, I appreciate you guys. So can you become rich doing YouTube? So rich can be very subjective, uh, but I would just to answer your question, you can become rich doing YouTube. I would say it's definitely not an easy path and it is a very, very stressful job, especially if you're solely relying just on YouTube 
ad revenue. Most people that get rich from YouTube learn how to diversify their income. So they do a YouTube channel, they make a merch line, they get sponsors, they build companies, and they've created multiple streams of revenue. That's usually how people become rich. And you don't necessarily need to have a massive following to become rich off of YouTube. For example, I know a few people that have 20, 30,000 followers on YouTube and they're making six figures a year because they're doing it very smartly. And I would say if you're making six figures a year, um, you're very well off. To answer your question, yes, you can become rich doing YouTube. And here's just a tip for people that want to do YouTube. Enjoy what you're doing. If you enjoy what you're doing, eventually you will become rich. Now, not rich with just money, but rich with happiness. In my opinion, that's what should count because you could have all the money in the world, but if you're unhappy, then it doesn't matter. For me, it's happiness over wealth and it'll always be happiness over wealth. With that said, I think this will conclude the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot different than my normal videos, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it different. So if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh my god, you're so fucking cute. Oh my god, what the fuck? You were so goddamn fucking cute. Oh, you just, you just.